Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn our very first effect in Illustrator CS6, and it's called the Transform Effect. And it's pretty cool, you're going to be able to create multiple transformation copies uh, across your image. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and make an image and select it. And what you want to do is go into Effect, and then you want to go to Distort and Transform, and then go to Transform. Now this is going to pop up. The first thing you want to check is Preview, so you can see what the hell you're doing. So what I want to do is I want to create this object moving across the screen a few times while it's getting smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the scale smaller. I'm going to go 75 and 75, and it made it smaller. This outside blue is your old uh, image. And then what I want to do is move this to the right. And I found that 220 pixels is good for moving this object that I made. And the rest of it is going to be actually really easy. We're going to go to this part where it says copies, and I'm going to hit 3. Because I found out that this makes enough copies to go across my page. And this is the kind of effect that we're getting. Now I could add some angle to it if I wanted to. This is going to rotate its angle. And if I hit something like 20, it's going to make like a little swirly go pattern going on there. If I did maybe something higher... You can see what it's doing. It's making even more of a kind of swirly thing. So you can see that. And that's just some of the things that you can do with this. We've got random. If I click that, now it's just going to make these things random. So if you select that box, it applies random transformations using the values in your dialog box. So when I have that like this, this is what I get. Let me add some angle in there and see what happens. I hit random. And it get, it just looks like it's coming closer. Maybe I got to add some vertical in there or something. We'll see. You just mess around with these kind of things and see what you can, can get with these randoms. Um, reflecting. And you could just do a whole bunch of different things and see what your effects that you like. And see if they're like things that you want to use. But that's how you use that. And then when you're done, go ahead and hit OK. Now if you want to do the same thing twice that you just did, go up to Object, go to Transform, go to Transform again. It's going to make the whole same, ex uh, same exact thing twice. And you can go ahead and select these with your Selection tool. And move them around. As you can see, they're, I think they're in a group. No, they're just all one path, which is kind of cool. But it's an effect. You can't actually, I can't seem to be able to mani or manipulate these points. Let's see if we can with a direct selection tool. No, cannot. See? So if I go ahead and move this, it's going to move like that. If I... I'm unable to actually move the actual points, just so you know. And then uh, that's pretty much it for this tool. It's uh, pretty handy, and you can create multiple iterations of your object on here. And um, you can do like create multiple patterns if you're if you're trying to create multiple uh, objects across the whole entire screen. This would be a quick way to do it. And then when you're moving things, you only have to move the first object, and it's a lot easier. It's a whole lot easier than duplicating and copying things all the time, and then it's just faster. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. You learned your very first effect, which is the transform effect. It's a pretty basic effect, but it has its uses, and it's pretty handy. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, and leave some comments if you have any suggestions for any tutorials that you want to 
uh, that you want me to make. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Everybody have a good day.